Koreans, it's Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. Hope you guys are doing well. Here to do a reading for you in January 2024. It's the goddess in you. So I'll be looking at um, four different, oh, five different decks rather. Okay, the first card is from the Wild Woman Oracle. And what's come out for you is 29, January's Rebirth. So rebirth in a relationship. You know, you're contemplating... Not going out much, perhaps um, journaling. And uh, this card's really telling you it's time to listen to your heart. You've got to let your heart guide you. And it will make the right decisions, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. If you delay making decisions, if, you, if you're feeling things are difficult, um, don't delay because there could be a change in your life that's going to give you a blessing that only you can imagine. You know, this is the number 29 and uh, we have two 29s here. Oh, no, beg your pardon. Is that 29? Sorry. Got my glasses on, still can't see. Yep, two 29s in this reading. So from the 28th to the 29th, it's very important days for you guys. Now, some of you um, may be trying to release any critical thoughts that you have about yourself, feeling like you're not good enough. But these thoughts are keeping you from giving and receiving love. They will have an effect on how you are within a relationship. Now we have from the goddess among us is Fortuna, number five. This is about fortune, luck and fate. It means for you change and growth in your relationships. You know, um, it's urging you to take a leap of faith. For the singles to embrace new romantic opportunities that may come your way. So... You know, feeling like you're not worthy enough is not a good thing. Now we've got from the Goddess of Love Oracle, Sanctuary, number 29, connect to your inner strength. So maybe you're still hiding in that hole, still staying at home, contemplating whether you're good enough and missing out on this beautiful love. So, you know, it is reminding you of the importance of gratitude and energy to focus on. It's good fortune, divine guidance, spiritual changes and great opportunities waiting for you. So you've got to come out of that hole, guys. We also have from the Romance Angel cards, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So if this is someone that you have feelings about, very strong feelings, the angels are guiding you there. Go into that portal, go into that hole that you're hiding. Or go out of it, rather. And uh, you don't want to miss out on, on love. You know, it's the biggest energy of all, guys. Now, we have the heart. A passionate, true love that is mutual. You know, um, it's a rebirth in, in a relationship for some of you. Finding that happiness and feeling rewarded again. This is your soulmate, Mr. Right. And... Um, being in pursuit of love. It's lovely. You've got the man here, which is Mars energy, and we've got the moon. So having um, Venus in Capricorn on the 28th, this is a very important day. It's trining Jupiter in your sign, Taurus. So luck's definitely on your side. You can feel good about everything you're doing. You know, you may benefit from someone in your life as well. Well, you know, op open up op opportunities for you. With um, by having a bit of confidence and going out there and getting, you know, love and what you really truly feel. If you're in an existing relationship, I I, I feel it like there's a declaration of love or even a proposal coming. You know, if you're already married, it's suggesting a happy life. You know, a period of great emotional fulfillment is coming. And uh, it's got the Ace of Heart 
Let's insert with a man here and is very much concerned with the home environment. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So, you know, it's suggesting a deeper connection to your family, neighbourhood. Your partner also may be spending more time at home these days, enjoying each other's company. Now, you do have the moon. It's the ace of heart, eight of hearts, rather. And, uh, you know, for your love life, it means you probably experience a big change in your relationship. There's a rebirth in January. Depending on your situation, you know, this could be high energy, a new relationship, potentially on the scale of a soulmate or twin flame connection, or it could just mean for some turbulence and heartache in short term. Okay, so, you know, if you weren't feeling feeling the love, um, you're definitely going to be feeling it very soon. And often the moon comes in when you're being offered a chance at something great, but it's going to be up to you whether you want to take it or whether you're looking for love or you may want to focus on other areas of your life. But I really feel you will give this love a chance. You know, there's feelings there that um, are mutual. And the number eight in the moon card is the magic power of influence. So you're being influenced to do this. You know, it's great success and fortune in many areas here, Taurus. It might mean, you know, your love life, it's pretty much a good time to focus on your professional life or even go traveling the world yourself if you're not interested in love. But the message here is one of the success but it's definitely a card that stresses success is entirely personal to you. So beautiful love here waiting for you guys. Now, there may have been delays or obstacles in the past with a relationship, but you definitely have a new start, you know, a, a rebirth here in your relationship. So sending love, sending blessings your way. Bye, Taurus.